hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is blessing book graphics okay in this tutorial we are going to work on birthday flyer and we are going to work it one after the other by backgrounds to the very uh, end of the um, birthday flyer so follow me line up online and press it up or press it so on this social media um, birthday poster design tutorial so Working with background manip manipulation, putting the text and the our model, which is the main picture we are going to use, is going to be well addressed. And I want you to pay thorough attention on this um, poster. This okay, without further ado, let's create our um, size. So on this size, I'm using inches, and it's going to be eight by nine inches. Eight by nine inches. Okay, then I have to draw this line and put, type it again, 8 by 9 inches. And now we click on the P to take it to the center. Click on the P to take it to the center. So, this is the background and we I wish that this design should be a very simple design. But we are going to work on a little manipulation of the background. So, the next thing I have to do is to work with the background that we're going to use. Okay, let's try to work around this background and this background. If possible, I don't want this to be more than this. Okay, which kind of background is this one? So we're gonna use this one for the birthday flyer. Gonna use it for the birthday flyer. So let's look for another background we are going to use. Okay, let's use this. I is on this background um we just look for any light effect okay okay this is the all the background we're going to use and this is my this is going to be my main background this is going to be my main background i have to scale it up like this i'll scale it up like this Okay. Okay, actually like this. So I have to blur it in this way so that the background is not going to be too noisy for the viewer. Okay, actually this is very perfect. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, so then I have to create the kind of black to this side, the to this, to this far, um lower part. So that the the thing is going to be well construct. So there it is. Actually, the cloth of my model is going to be somewhat white. That is why I want this to look to look like this. So this one actually, this one it just wants it to be look test texture on it, so that my background is not going just to look bc um summer so let me overlay it and see how it's going to look or oh, screen let's work with screen and this one also i have to blur it because i don't want any kind of too much noisy so okay this is very perfect so i will power clip it and take it to the back of the black before they draw okay actually this is what I want and I just need to to just screen it like this okay actually I think this is very perfect for for this background I'm creating so the next thing I have to go and look for my model the the model we are using okay here is my model this is my model and I have to power clip it inside. I will power clip it inside and reduce it in little bit. Actually, if you don't know how to power clip, you have to look at my previous design um videos so that you are going to have more knowledge on that. Okay, actually this is just it. Okay, you can see how it look. Let me scale it up a little bit. And do it like this. Okay, actually, this is it. 
but we can still create one thing more i don't even know what we are going to create but let's just create black first and we can still go and look for another image we can texture on that on this lower part to make it more look realistic okay let me scale this black up a little bit like absolutely good i see it's absolutely good okay the next thing i will work on this light effect or this kind of effect so i back clip it also inside then i have to scale it up in little bit scale this like this okay after i bring it over here we are working with screen 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 okay and this is just it so i have to blow this in little bit also because the light is somehow look very sharp in some edges so it's too much so that let me reduce it oh my goodness i pray that the, the corridor is not close okay let's wait in little bit okay so i just need to scale it up uh, we are going to blow it but i wish that we should save first that the wire so we are good is screen screen and we just needs to to work on we just needs to work on this motion blur and we are going to reduce it a little bit actually that is good so the part that you look very affect the face you just need to cut it off with pen I pen to so just create um, click on the icon you create make sure it, it's close click on the shape you create and this light background and click on the trim it's going to trim only the face away so okay i think you can see it but you can see that we can still see the the part we work on so just come over here and click click on the motion feather but if you don't have motion feather you can still click on this motion blow or you can do it before firstly blow so i just click on this oh i'm sorry it is giving me issue so before we blow it i think we can just try to to um, trim that part before we blow it so i will click on this to cut the face it will be before blow so trim and just delete this and let's go so motion blow click on the motion blow just blow it in little bit and come over come back again to screen shall it's loading oh yeah. actually maybe before you screen it at all you can just try to do something like this and bring this one here just highlight the shape you create and this event and click on this trim okay you can see the face like this and uh, it just needs to come over to blow Gaussian blow okay okay it's okay like this and click over here and let's go to screen and screen it so you have it perfect this okay you can see that there is nothing trace that we trim that part so but if you notice that it's affecting other parts you can just try to screen it more to transfer it more so that it's not going to be too much okay this is what we create with the background and the picture 
so next thing we are going to work on is to work on the test since we have achieved the uh, the background and the, the placement of the picture so the next thing is to work or if you have any icon you want to add to it you can just kindly do that okay actually i just think we can still have this kind of shape so maybe this lower side here let's add it and blow it as well and make sure you are saving make sure you are saving your work okay so this one i have to blow it also make sure you are saving your work so that you will not lose what you are working on because corridor can close at any time so let's work on overlay let's see if the overlay is going to work good or screen let's work on screen and i have to reduce it like this because i just need that pipe of little yellow and that kind of okay actually i think it's okay so that it's gonna going to be too much i just spread it in little bit like this spread this part so, so i bring it like this and let's see okay this this is just it okay i think is is good it's good but can just try to reduce it down a little bit more reduce it down a little bit more so he, he, this is very perfect and if you want to work on the light of this kind of the black that is here you want the kind of light on it you can use this so i will like to screen it so that it's going to okay you can see the effect on the ear okay this is absolutely good okay so this is absolutely good okay so once we have achieved this the next thing is to work on the test and you can just work on this kind of test and say look over here i feel glorious birthday and just arrange it like this so okay this part i'm using elegant font for this joy just try to increase it up and uh, I will give it this kind of color but I want to give it more I want to do one effect inside so that it's going to so I just copy that effect and create a shape like this part clip it inside this joy and go inside inside the part clip and do this kind of effect and just bring it over here so do it well just increase it like this so okay you can see how it's look okay think you can just see how we create this happy birthday flyer just make it like that and if you want to put the maybe witches works just put it over there over here just do something like this and whatever you want to write just write it there okay this is just very simple basics uh, let's use light color here Let's create the pink color here and bring it over there. So I will just put a bed over here. So up 
to the DJ. Just bring it to the downside like this. And that that's just simple design that you can just try to create by yourself. It's very simple. You can see just background and the picture, whatever you want to play there. That's just it. Subscribe for my YouTube channel and let me see you in the next video. Thank you.